I'd like to give you my commentary, my thoughts, so to speak, on the presidential debate a few nights ago between Donald Trump and Kamala Harris. And I'm going to give you not really my thoughts, but the thoughts from Scripture. 2 Peter chapter 2, verse 17 through 22. Let me read that. It describes the uh, whole presidential election system right now pretty well. These are wells without water, clouds that are carried with a tempest, to whom the mist of darkness is reserved forever. For when they speak great swelling words of vanity, they allure through the lusts of the flesh. Through much wantonness, those that were clean escaped from them who live in error. While they promise them liberty, they themselves are the servants of corruption. For of whom a man is overcome, of the same as he brought in bondage. For if after they have escaped the pollutions of the world through the knowledge of the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, they are again entangled therein and overcome, the latter end is worse with them than the beginning. For it had been better for them not to have known the way of righteousness than after they have known it to turn from the holy commandment delivered unto them. But it has happened unto them according to the true proverb, the dog is turned to his own vomit again and the sow that was washed to her wallowing in the mire. That's my commentary on the uh, debate. A whole lot of things that you could go off on there, but uh, I'll let you figure it out. If you're saved, you do already understand why I read that. Um, they promised them liberty, but they themselves are the servants of corruption. They got to those positions of power through being the servants of corruption. Hmm, very interesting. So uh, you want to believe in the little dog and pony show there, or, or maybe I should say the dog and swine show. Uh, the Sal show. Um, pick which one you want. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. And I will not believe for one second that there will be any kind of a change that will come from this selection. I woke up to that whole thing years ago. Oh, well, no, no, you don't understand. Once we get our guy in, once we get, or maybe our woman in now, um, yeah, you know, uh, that's going to be a good thing. I mean, never mind the fact that the Bible says, I suffer not a woman to teach, nor to usurp authority over the man, but to be in silence. Speaking about saved women, obviously, Kamala Harris is not saved. But uh, female presidents uh, never end up as a good thing. Um, and I don't really care what you think about that. I'm right, you're wrong, if you disagree with me. Uh, female politicians are a bad idea. They're condemned in Scripture. Um, never was a good female politician in Scripture. Uh, as a matter of fact, you read the book of Isaiah, it's actually talking about a society that's breaking apart as Israel's falling as a nation, and it says, and women rule over them. Yeah, um, if you're a saved sister, you're saying amen right now. If you're a lost woman, you're probably, I'm unsubscribing. Please, please do. Okay, I don't need a bunch of feminists subscribed to my channel and, you know, in the comments and whatever else. If you want to know what the Bible actually teaches, then certainly this is the place for you. You submit yourself to the scriptures, things will work out good. But uh, America is under God's judgment. The American people are not repenting of their sin. They're not saying, hey, we're sorry. Hey, we need to turn back to the Lord. Let's, let's clean up our speech. Let's clean up our music. Let's, you know, do righteous things. Ask God for forgiveness for all the horrible things that this nation has been involved in. Um, people aren't turning away from abortion. They're not turning against sexual perversion. Um, so America's going to go down. It's going to go down hard. And it doesn't matter who gets elected. Okay? It doesn't matter. It's going to be communism or fascism. Which one do you want? A uh, pistol or knife? Which one do you want to be killed by? Doesn't mean anything. Um, as I've said, uh, it is your patriotic duty to not vote when the only options are tyranny. All right? Brian Denlinger, you can write that little quote out there. Um, because it's the truth. I will not take part in a corrupt system. I stand back and I will become independent of that system. And I will say I don't rely on the government. And the government wants to come out and they need to say, well, we're going to ban AR-15s. No, thank you. Uh, well, we'll uh, we need to have you turn in things and, and don't worry, we'll, we'll take your guns away, but we'll keep you safe. Uh, no, sorry, not happening. Um, you know, we're going to have you take a shot in the shoulder to make sure that you're, uh, we get you sick so that your immune system can fight against sickness by getting you sick. Uh, no, thank you. Uh, you need to put something on your face. No, never did, never will. Um, 
you know. Uh, you need to not say certain things and whatever that would be a, a deemed offensive. I'm sorry, not doing that. I need to live a certain way and do certain things. No, no. Um, if you want my trust back, government people, then you better stop being a terror to us. You better stop the tyranny thing. Because otherwise, um, you're losing me and you're losing every other patriotic American that cares about national boundaries. Um, that's just the way that it is. So that's about all I have to say about that issue. The scriptures are proven right once again. Um, the modern politicians are corrupt and it doesn't matter uh, what people say, what little speeches they read off their teleprompters. Uh, I'm not going to trust them. If you want to, <laughs> have at it. Um, believe in uh, Trump or Kamala Harris or whatever else and believe in Daffy Duck and, and uh, Mickey Mouse and the Tooth Fairy and the Easter Bunny and whatever else. Okay? Um, free country still. And it will always be a free country for me because if it ever becomes a tyrannical state and I'm forced to do things that go against my God-given conscience and my God-given rights, then I will no longer remain uh, alive. Just that simple. They want to come and kill me? Well, come and kill me. But you'll have to get through my God first. The protection and his holy angels that protect me. Alright? So that is going to be it. Thank you very much for watching.